Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for October 23rd through the 29th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from Queen of the Moon Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me how does Pisces feel about the person on their mind? Pisces, sad, things aren't moving at all, like you wasted your time trying to get something started here and it was like a wasted, um, you know, beginning, you feel like you could put your effort somewhere else and you feel like this is over and it does feel just kind of shocking to you, the tower coming out as an additional card here, um, the six of wands is at the bottom of the deck right here as well. It's almost like you want them to recognize and see you or see that this bothers you. Uh, five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Death card. Yeah. Needing to say goodbye to this situation because it's not going anywhere and it's over and like it just needs to be over. Some of you, it's been over. You've been hanging on. You're just like, I need to let go. I just have to let go. Um, it's hard though, and it's understandable. Especially if you have to let go and you've been seeing that this person is getting attention or having a good time and whatever. So how does this person feel about Pisces? Um, they have their defenses up. They are protecting themselves from you because they're like nope um pisces left me out in the cold or you know this situation didn't work out they they're just like this is over it feels like something that has been over like this has been over um i don't see them really looking back i see that they're like nope i'm not going to do that because it was a loss and you know um they felt alone or that they were left out in the cold and now they feel that things are going very well for them their life is looking really good and that everything's working out um, with the justice card after a very um, tough ending like going through the worst of the worst so let's go ahead and um now they have the seven of wands five of pentacles in the world card sorry didn't show you So yeah, they're just accepting this loss and, and embracing a new um, blessing, beginning, destinies taking them on a different direction. So let's go ahead and get the connection between you and this person. Whoa, yeah, it does not look like you two are talking at all because I see reconciliation here somebody wanting reconciliation or it's crossed their mind so two of wands the moon and the chariot the three of cups at the bottom of the deck i also get in the connection that a decision was made um to like not it's, it's like a decision was made on a situation between the two of you but in the middle of it there were things that were not discussed a decision was made to move on somebody was moving on without giving answers to the other person or enough answers to the other person it does look like there could have been some kind of third party involvement uh, but i do see that in the connection somebody's you know like it's moving towards yeah let's reconcile we both miss each other and this that and the other but they're they're not feeling that way they're moving on they're mingling and meeting new people here i don't see them going backwards i'm going to be completely honest um, so let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this five of cups. But like I said, this doesn't feel like anything new. This feels like something where somebody 
Can't let go of the other person. Five of Cups is clarified by the Star, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Swords, the World card at the bottom of the deck. I do see you trying to heal right here. Um, at least focus on it. It's hard to close out this chapter for some reason completely, but you're trying to. It's just it. you're feeling like this loss and this sadness and... Um, there was a lot of hope, like you had a lot of hope in this situation here, it looks like, and this person was guarded from you in the very beginning, which kind of left you to both feeling like there was a break in the communication, and some of you met online, or you just very different from each other, the world card right there, um, there's also the fact that feeling like things need to like this is as far as it's going to get. It's like that break in communication and, and never letting that guard down led to this is as far as it's going to go. So maybe this is it. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing is growing in this beginning or this commitment at all because of suppression of feelings. You two either are not talking for quite some time because there's a new love. Somebody's moved on, you know, or happy, moved on with a new love. It does look like that because I do see this person moving on. And maybe they're moving on with somebody else. But, you know, I get like you're at a crossroads of this isn't happiness if it just stays at the very beginning and it never moves on as well. Um, you waited. I feel like you waited for this person to show up. To, to make a difference, to actually get things going between the two of you, but it just never happened. Um, yeah. Not talking what looks like quite some time here. So the two of swords, the wheel of fortune, and the ace of cups, as well as the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Uh, let's go ahead and clarify the death card. You want things to change. So this death card where you feel this ending, it's like you're saying that you are feeling a change within yourself, like that you want to make this work, that you want to nurture this, that you want to be more giving, you want to make things right, that you love this person, this is your soulmate, and you want what you had in the past with this person. You miss the memories that you two made. Um, like I know things ended, but I really want this back. I want to show, like you're trying to come in and show this person big change here. Um, wanting to at least. So let's go ahead and clarify this seven of wands. So this person is definitely, um, protecting themselves. They are moving on. They feel like things were just too difficult the six of swords, the ten of swords, and three of pentacles, and the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't see them with anybody. I see them spending time alone with this hermit right here. They didn't have anybody else. They just felt that they need to move on, be like, this is really over. They're moving forward. They do have some rough things happening in their life. They're going through some situations with like work or business or something like that are getting recognition um, in relationships. So they just kind of decided to spend some time alone here but i do see them moving on from this particular situation because it is over it's painful it's too hard to to work together to make um a relationship or a partnership work here so they'd rather just accept their loss so let's go ahead and clarify this five of pentacles
they're also going through some financial struggles and they're trying to you know do everything in their power to balance that back out and bring their money back up you know where they can pay things off or you know get ahead of of things just in case so the magician the temperance card and the seven of pentacles so where they're going through a financial struggle here they are you know mastering different skills getting really good at it and um starting to build their money back up trying new things so the page of pentacles is like trying new things going a different direction here um, trying to learn new things to make more money to bring that up there's also the fact that they're accepting this loss and just trying to work on themselves reevaluate their life what they want what they don't want what they're trying to change um let's clarify this wheel of fortune They see other people having a really good... So here's the thing. They have this blessing in their life, right? Even if it's not you. It's like they're focusing on their blessings going forward is how it came off. But then they go through these financial struggles. And then this Wheel of Fortune, they're like a blessing is right there in front of them. But because they're feeling hurt and they're, you know, like, oh, this hurt so bad, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to a partnership or like collaborating with new people and focusing on it, they'd rather just stay solo and do it themselves. So the Queen of swords right here at the bottom of the deck um, we have the nine of wands the three of cups and the knight of swords if you reached out to this person they would still feel hurt and um their heart would not be open to reconciling because they would be too focused on you know what they have to tell you and you know none of this that and the other they're just not about it um i don't really see them with anybody i see them just even friends want to get together with them, but they just keep making themselves really busy. So let's go ahead and get the outcome between you and this person. Whoa, okay. All right, so Pisces, what I see for you is you're going to have multiple options, okay, when it comes to commitment, relationship, who you can build a really strong foundation with. And, you know, somebody here has a lot to offer you. They're very family-oriented. They also come from a very good family background. They're a little shy, a little quiet. This is not this person. This is somebody new. But you have choices and opportunities for new love, okay? And it does look after you, like after you've spent some time um, also just reconnecting with yourself it does look like with this hierophant, hierophant um, higher power, God, universe, spirit, whatever uh, you want to believe in or whatever you do believe in is sending this person to you. And this is somebody who's really quiet. They like to be at home, watch a good movie or whatever. Um, they do get, they like to get out and mingle and socialize as well, but they can definitely enjoy like, you know, spending time at home watching tv eating dinner whatever whatever um but this is somebody that is definitely looking for a relationship and it does look like a soulmate as well so uh, be patient that's what i'm being told to tell you be patient it's on its way you just keep moving forward this is a tough situation that you're going through but there's something better and more aligned for you just ahead so let's go ahead and get a message for you first thing is going to be resistance all right so that's the first oracle message that comes out at the bottom of the deck is going to be pleasure oh i love that let's go ahead and take a look at these um the resistance card and what it says for you is Familiarize yourself with how resistance manifests for you, the overt and the covert. If you continue to have doors slammed in your face, turn around. There will normally be an open door. Procrastination is just another kind of fear. Move forward with confidence and persistence. Okay. And then the other one, which was the pleasure card. I keep hearing like take, you know 
joy in life's little pleasures. So it says, you are taking life too intensely or too seriously. The time has come to call in the pleasures of life. Seek light lightheartedness at this time. Focus on what would make you happy. Schedule in activities you find pleasurable. Absolutely. And I feel like when you start doing that, you're going to meet this person. That's how it's supposed to happen. So uh, this is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.